Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first Eid look and this is especially dedicated to all my Muslim family and friends. I wish you an Eid Mubarak to you and I hope that this helps you out. I know everybody gets really dressed up for Eid and they think about their outfits way in advance so very pink and corally girly look and I absolutely love the colors it's got hints of orange and brown and um, pinks and reds and I really think it's a beautiful look for Eid and let me know what you think down below in the comments please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please 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 and follow me on Instagram as well to see other pics that, and videos that you don't get to see on YouTube. And I thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for all the comments and the likes and the suggestions. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy this look. Comment, let me know what you think. Um, I'm always interested in hearing what you have to say. If you have any ideas for me, um, leave it down below and I'll try my best to um, see to all of your requests so um, thanks guys and enjoy the video enjoy this peach be the glam look and I will see you in my next video bye so first so things first, first, first here are the out of the way and then I'm and gonna then start, I'm gonna with, start my with my Maybelline, Maybelline Age Rewind, Rewind Concealer, concealer. And I'm just my spreading this all over my lids to prime my lids. Now you see me do this before, but you haven't seen me put the concealer above my eyebrows. Now I'm doing this because I haven't gone for threading in a while. And I just kind of want to sculpt my eyebrows um, because that's all I do with them. I don't fill them in or anything. And then I'm going to use my Switch Beauty Slay for Days palette and I'm going to take this brown shade and just swirl it into my crease and if you if you can see I'm just taking the brush and swirling it into my crease so that it gives a nice soft look and then I'm taking some tape and I'm putting it in the outer corner of each eye in an angle so that my eyeshadow does not go past that line then I'm taking this orange shade from the Slay for Days palette and I'm going over my crease again very lightly in circular move motions and just building up the color and then I'm going in with this peachy shade peachy orangey shade again in the crease and now this time I'm taking it a little bit over my eyelid as well and with each different shade of orange and pink I'm building the color up then I'm going to use my favorite Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm going to use I'm going to use the shade Amber which is like an orange color in my crease and over my eyelid as well focusing on the outer corner of my eye as well and then I'm going to use this bright orange shade called Blazing and I'm going to place this again on my eyelid now the reason I'm using many different eyeshadows is to get a nice effect on my eye then I'm going to use this light coral shade and this is in the shade Eden and I'm placing this from the inner corner of my eye to the center of my eye and this color I'm just packing it on I'm not really blending it in and then I'm going to use the shimmery shade from the palette called blood moon and I'm taking that from the inner corner of my eye just on top of the shade Eden that I used and this shimmer goes on better with my finger that's why I used it and then I'm gonna spray some fix plus on my brush and I'm gonna pick up this glitter which is a pressed glitter called Cosmo and I'm gonna place it in the center of my eyelid and I'm just packing this glitter onto my eye pressing it down so that it stays and I wet the brush so that it sticks and then once I remove the tape, you see that there's a nice precise line on the edge of my eye. And then I'm going to, just to give this look a pop of color, a different color, I'm going to use the shade Amethyst, which is a purple shade. And I'm going to run that below my lash line. 
Now purple really brings out brown eyes, that's just a tip. And then I'm going to use my Wet n Wild a cold pencil in my waterline. Then I move on to foundation. Now I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 330. And I'm using my Beauty Blender to just blend this out. I'm spraying some Fix Plus on my Beauty Blender because this foundation tends to dry very quickly. And then I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Caramel. This is a concealer stick and I'm using it around my mouth because I do have some dark pigmentation there and I just want to conceal it a bit more. Um, I'm then going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, Peach Corrector under my eye which I've been loving lately. And then my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. And I'm going on top of this just to save time and then I'm blending both the concealers out. To set the concealer in, I'm using the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder underneath my eyes. I'm leaving it there for a few minutes while I contour. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. Um, and this is a cream contour, so I'm just placing it in the areas and then I will blend it out. Then I'm just brushing off the powder under my eye and I'm using my Switch Beauty contour brush to just blend this contour out. And I'm using upward circular motions to do that so I get a nice natural look. Then I'm using also this flat foundation brush to just go down the bridge of my nose. I just find that it's more precise when using it on my nose. I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind down the bridge of my nose just to highlight and also in the center of my face, center of my forehead, upper lip and chin. And then I'm just blending that out as well. I'm going to take my NYX Beauty Matte Bronzer and go over my cream contour. Oh, and then I just dropped my Avon blush there. But this is the Avon Mark blush. It's a very peach shade. And then I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Rum. And this is a highlighter shade, but it's, it's too dark for me um, to use on the bridge of my nose and on my cheekbones. So I use it as a blush. It's very shimmery as you can see. Um, it gives the, the cheeks a nice glittery look. And I also like using it on my cupid's bow just above my lip because it gives a lovely fresh look there as well and then obviously the huda beauty golden sands palette i'm using the bronze shade i think it's tahiti to just go over the contour a little bit more and then i'm using this other golden shade on above my cheekbones to highlight and also on my brow bones to just highlight my eye area as well and down the bridge of my nose so as you can see and I've also learned this new trick to apply highlighter on the forehead which gives your face a nice shine as well I will be using the Vixen lip liner today but this liner is very dark and I'm looking for a softer look so I'm blending the lip liner out with my finger into my lip so just that I so that I have a light um, line around lining my lips, um, if that makes sense. And it's just giving my lips some color as well as lining it because I am going to put another lighter lipstick in the center. So then I'm using this Avon lipstick, one of my favorites. And it's, I think it's called Blush Nude. I'll leave all the details of the makeup down below in the description. And then I'm just going over the lips again with the Vixen Liner from Huda Beauty. And then I'm going to pop some falsies on. And this is the Eye Lure Volume Lashes. And now when I did my concealer, I took away some of the purple eyeshadow. So I'm just placing that on my lower lash line again. And then I'm going to use the Avon uh, False Lash Mascara on my lower lashes. I'm going to take the Fenty Gloss Balm uh, Lip Gloss and put it on top of my lips. 
This gives a beautiful shine, one of my favorite glosses. So we are almost done. And uh, I had a hair slide that broke off at this point in the video. So I just left it off and I've just flipped my hair on the side. And this is the final look. Um, I think it's really beautiful. Remember, you can use whatever eyeshadows you have that works for you. Please like, share and subscribe. See you next time.